So we were at some friend's house over the weekend and he's trying to get rid of this old gem. Uh, it's his old microwave. They don't use it anymore, they got something better and I want something cool out of here. That's what we're after right there. Yeah, that little boy. That is a transformer that will produce a shoot ton of electricity. That's what we want. Plus, look at this. There's a uh, little fan in here we might be able to salvage. Got a little electric motor on it, some copper. This is the magnetron. This is what actually generates the microwaves. So we're gonna not mess with that. We'll probably pull it out so you can see it. And that over there, that's the danger zone. That's a big capacitor. Definitely don't want to short that out. It might have some stored electricity that will fry us. So be careful around that guy. But I think we can get this out pretty easily. they store a lot of electrical views, uh, especially if they haven't been sitting for very long. It's got a diode on it just to protect the flow of current. Diodes only allow current to flow in one direction. But if we short these two terminals, we should effectively render the capacitor useless. So let's give that a go. Yeah, it's been sitting too long. There's no juice left in it, so. Pretty safe at this point. I'll keep that just to show off at school. 2100 watts this capacitor can store. It's a 0.97 microfarads, but still a lot of juice you can imagine in there. All right, so that's what we're really after. That's the transformer from the microwave. But there's a couple other things we can get out of here as well. So before we play with this, let's check out the other cool things. This is just the fan out of the microwave. It runs on 110 volts. I don't really know if I'll find a use for it or not, but it never hurts to have another fan, right? Fans are good. All right, so this is the actual magnetron. This is what generates the microwaves that actually go into the oven and cook your food. Uh, basically the way it works is it vibrates very very quickly much much faster than sound waves now You can kind of think of it like a big speaker while it's vibrating it Produces microwaves right here now it takes a lot of high voltage electricity in order to make this happen Which is where the transformer comes in. That's what we were looking for was the high voltage electricity So we're gonna do some cool things with that pretty soon, but I just wanted to show you what the magnetron looked like. It's kind of a menacing looking beast and really, aside from giving someone cancer, I don't really know what good it is, um, other than it's kind of cool to see. This is what actually makes the microwaves that cook your food. Now, aside from that, there's not much we can get out of here. Just a little bit of copper wire and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and give the rest of the stuff that I can save, and the rest is going to the scrap pile. Alright, so we got what we're after, the transformer. We're going to go have a little bit of fun with this. And, you know, it's hot as hell outside, so we're gonna go inside, cool off, play with some electricity in there. 
All right, so we have our transformer that I've mounted onto a block of wood and added a switch so I can turn it on and off. And we just need to build the Jacob's Ladder now. Trip the breaker. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. Yay! Okay, reset the breaker. Should be good to go. I just want to kind of adjust these a little bit first. tripped again. Okay, so we're having some pretty good luck. We're actually able to get it to go, but it only goes for a few seconds before it trips out the breaker. Um, I imagine that's probably due to the electrical resistance in the circuit, and I mean, essentially what we're doing is we're creating a short circuit, having the electricity jump from one side of the ladder to the other and then rise. We're essentially shorting that circuit by creating that spark or that arc across the two. So that's probably why it's tripping the breaker. But we will persevere. Luckily for me, my breakers are like five feet away, so it doesn't take much to reset it, and we can continue on and try again. Uh, but it is working pretty good. Pretty impressed with the old microwave transformer. Now, the idea of Jacob's Ladder comes from the Bible, where the patriarch Jacob had a dream about a ladder that connected the earth and the heavens. Um, and so this is kind of the electricity's way of paying homage to that I suppose uh, but it creates a type of a ladder of electricity in in essence um, it's electricity that rises uh, under its own accord so this is high voltage that's creating the arc between the two copper wires and that generates some heat that actual arcing between the wires that heat then creates a convection current which causes the air to rise So that worked really well. The Jacob's Ladder, a classic and super easy, but don't try this at home. Dealing with these microwave oven transformers can be a bit dangerous. Not only do they generate a lot of heat, but they also generate a very high voltage electrical output in the neighborhood of like thousands of volts. Now, I've always been told to be careful with electricity, and I've been working with it for a long time, and on top of that, I have a pretty thorough understanding, so don't try this at home. Now, 120 volts can kill you. Imagine what thousands of volts can do to you as well, so please don't take that warning lightly. Um, electricity is something that if you don't fully understand, you definitely should not mess with, just because of the serious danger from that. So just enjoy this video, and stay safe stay alive don't mess with electricity but i think it's fun to see just exactly how powerful that electricity can be and producing this arc that we were able to do i think is pretty evident of that we're able to get a pretty good um, spark traveling through the air enough in fact that we could set something on fire
just too easy. That's uh, just super easy actually to uh, get something caught on fire using a little electric spark. Now, uh, okay. Trust me, I'm being safe. I promise. Now one thing I find pretty interesting is the color of the spark that it makes here. It's actually green in color, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Let me see if I can get it to do it again. Yeah, see, it's, see how it's green? That's due to the copper and the wires that I'm using as my conductors. That actually causes the spark to be green because it's, well, it's kind of burning that copper a little bit every time I turn it on. So you get a nice green spark. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, don't try this at home. It's super dangerous and can kill you, so please just don't. Uh, just watch this video over and over and over again if you want. That's cool with me. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that little thumbs up button down there. Don't forget to subscribe, and aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, and now my coffee is cold, so I'm going to have to go microwave that. <laughs>